guys, it's Justin Anderson, Fullaflex Ambassador. I'm going to take you on to a little glimpse into my everyday life. Hey, Olaplex, we're at the DP Hugh house. Come on inside. So this is my work chair over here, where I take clients, do some hair. Um, this is where all the magic happens, of course. Over in here is just a little like seating area. People can kind of hang out, let their hair process a little bit. We've got the fireplace going, the awesome DP Hue surfboard. It's a little homage to Southern California, right? In here, we have two chairs where a lot of blow drying, styling happens. Uh, here inside the DP House, we bring a lot of influencers in, celebrities, people who are uh, willing to work with the brand. So we do a lot of photo shoots. Uh, so there's the backdrop there. We got our cool palm trees. Again, Southern California. In here, we have a little mixing area with your boy, Alexi. Alexi is always in there playing with extensions, lightning things for a big celebrity client, right, Alexi? Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Back in here is my office area. I come in here and kind of hang out in between clients. We take different business meetings back in this area. It's a chill, cool area. I'm in love with Britney Spears. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that. So uh, Don Flood, an amazing photographer, sent me that photo. Um, little lounge area, DP Hue logo, which we love. Um, and then we'll kind of head on out back. We have this killer view back here so when people are processing they can kind of sit out and enjoy the view uh, during the day when we're working and doing hair we have a heater set up out here so people can process under the hood dryer while their highlights are going with olaplex of course they can kind of sit out here and enjoy that great view and then back over this area little hangout area to eat lunch and whatnot we got the pool over here um we got our new rafts in here <clears throat> Back in there is another office, social media office. Uh, things happening in there. My girl Sahai is in there, hard at work. But that's pretty much the DP Hue house. I think I'm gonna go inside now and do some questions for you guys. So let's go. Hey Justin, okay, so we're gonna get started with a few questions. It's a little bit of a mix with our viewers and just what everyone wants to know. So first question, do you still get nervous doing celebrity hair? I, you know, at this point, I don't really get nervous. I get excited. Um, I don't wanna sound like I don't, um, I don't get too excited about it as a celebrity, because of course, if you're meeting a new celebrity, it's gonna be kind of exciting and maybe make you a little bit nervous, but no, I don't get super nervous. I think that at this point, I've worked with so many different really cool people that I more get excited. That was a really stupid way of answering that. Sorry, <laughs> but no, I don't get too nervous anymore. <laughs> awesome. So uh, what's your favorite thing to do besides hair? Uh, my favorite thing to do besides hair, I really do love working out. Like working out is just my way to shut my brain off. I, it's my favorite time of the day. I'm a really, really early riser. I like to be up super, super early. So when I'm up that early, it's my time that's all to myself. So that's my favorite thing to do. Awesome. So do you have any advice on how to grow confidence as a person or a stylist? Um, you know, I really think that to, in order to grow confidence when you're a stylist or a colorist, in my case, I'm a colorist, I really wanted to perfect one thing. You know, I really love doing blonde hair. I do all types of hair color, but I really wanted to focus on being the best that I could be at blonde hair. So I think just kind of like setting your eye on the prize, doing the best that you can with one type of work, uh, will, it will create some sort of confidence that you'll have um, every time you work on that. You know, a lot of these people, do amazing like creative colors or maybe their uh, their specialty is short haircuts, whatever it is. I think it's nice to have a specialty. Awesome. So what was your aha moment with Olaplex or in other words, why Olaplex? You know, to be really, really honest, I was a little bit skeptical at the beginning of Olaplex. I didn't really believe it. I've seen so many products come into the hair world, things that were promising amazing results and I didn't see it. but. The first time that I worked with Olaplex, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna push it today. I'm gonna go really, really hard. I'm gonna try and make this client super, super blonde and see how great her hair feels. And I was blown away the very first time. So it was honestly the first time. Awesome. So what does being an Olaplex ambassador mean to you? 
Um, being an Olaplex ambassador is a big deal to me because Olaplex is something that over the years of using it, it's something that I really believe in. I'm super passionate about it. Um, I'm a huge fan of keeping the integrity of hair. I love long, beautiful blonde hair. So this product in particular was a complete game changer for my business. So I feel very lucky, very fortunate uh, to be a part of this family. Who is another person in the industry you admire and why? Another person in the industry that I admire and why, um, I'm all about hairdressers uh, being a part of the product creating world. So I would have to say somebody like Jen Atkin is a big inspiration to me. I love that her first passion is hair uh, styling and creating beautiful looks, but then uh, creating a product line for all of us to use has been uh, really inspiring to me. And you know, I'm a big believer in uh, stylists supporting other stylists. You know, it's, a, it's an amazing industry that we get to be a part of. And I think the more that we support one another, the more we all get to grow. So that's my answer for that. Awesome. What trends are hot right now or what trends do you see becoming popular in the future? Oh gosh, over the years, uh, all my years of doing hair color, that's the question I always get asked. Every magazine wants to know uh, what's the big trend. I'm not the guy to ask because I just like beautiful, timeless, classic hair. I love beautiful, natural hair color that grows out really, really well. I'm not the guy for the fun, crazy stuff. You got to go to Guy Tang for that. Uh, but I'm just all about natural, beautiful hair that suits the hair, uh, the skin color, the eye color. So I don't know. I'm kind of boring when it comes to that. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your number one beauty tip? My number one beauty tip would be... Lots of water, um, I really, really believe in. I noticed that uh, when I don't drink a lot of water, I get a little bit more lethargic, which makes me tired. Also, my skin dries out, doesn't look as good. So if I had to pick one thing, and believe me, there's a lot of them. I'm all about beauty stuff. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I am very into like skincare, and I, I, I love this beauty world that we're a part of, but the number one thing would be drink lots of water. Awesome. So do you have any celebrity stories or maybe secrets or just even your dream clients? <laughs> uh, you know, uh, not to be super, super cheesy, but I really have worked on just about everybody that I ever dreamed of working on. When I was in beauty school and I was learning to do hair, I would always say in my head, I'm like, just one time I want to be able to shampoo Jennifer Aniston's hair. I just want to touch her hair somehow. And now working with her all these years, that's a huge, uh, a huge dream of mine that's, uh, that has happened. But other than that, you know, I'm a really big fan of Britney Spears. If you follow me on Instagram again, you know that I love me some Britney Spears. But everybody always asks me if it's my dream to work with her, and it's not. I don't want to work with her. I'm just afraid I'd be let down. I feel like Britney Spears is not going to give you a lot of time with her hair. And I feel like in order to get beautiful hair, it takes time and consistency and staying with one hair colorist over and over. And I think Britney would give me one shot, and she'd probably give me five minutes in the chair, and I'd be disappointed. So. You actually answered our next question, which was, is Britney Spears your favorite artist? So <laughs> now that we know that, yeah. um, what's your best advice for starting in the hair industry? My best advice for starting in the uh, hair industry is to put your time in as an assistant. You know, I feel like we're in this really, really lucky age where social media is so great for hairdressers because we have access to learning constantly and seeing what all of our peers are up to. But I still believe that the time that you learn the most is when you're an assistant. So you're in the salon working with a stylist and you're seeing hands on things go really well, things go bad, but you've got to get your hands in there and in the hair and see what happens. So assisting is the number one thing. I always say though, once you go on the floor, once you go on the floor in the salon, you've got to be available. Don't be the stylist that's always ready or waiting to run out the door at the end of the day. You've got to stick around and be available for anything. People call it all hours to get their hair done and you want to be there to start building your clientele right away. Awesome. So do you have any advice as a client coming into the salon? A client. I have a lot of advice for you guys. Uh, listen to the professional. I feel like some, uh, somehow you end up in a professional's chair, right? Like you're walking in the mall and you see somebody's beautiful highlights and you're like, who colors your hair? They tell you, you end up in that stylist chair. You're with them for a reason. You know, they know what they're doing. We're professionals. We know what we're doing. So listen to a stylist. If a stylist saying you can't go any blonder, it's going to damage your hair or that color really won't, uh, wouldn't suit you. You've got to listen. Awesome. So what is your favorite way to use Olaplex? 
My favorite way to use Olaplex is I add it to all of my Lightner. Um, I don't think I ever color without Olaplex anymore. And then my number one thing is when I'm doing a big makeover, usually on a celebrity, if they have to do something really, really big and really quick and they don't have the time to do it in stages, I will send Alexi, my assistant, to their house the night before we do a big color change and he'll do a full Olaplex treatment on their hair the night before we do the big change. And I find that really helps out uh, when it makes somebody a lot blonder. Awesome. So if you weren't doing hair, what would you be doing? Oh, if I wasn't doing hair, what would I be doing? Uh, I love making money. I love <laughs> business. I love, my mind never stops uh, thinking about money and whatnot. And, uh, you know, recently I've gotten into uh, buying little condos and fixing them up and flipping them for a profit. And that has been a lot of fun to me. So if I wasn't doing hair at this point, I'd probably go into business with my best girlfriend, Caitlin, and we'd fix up houses and sell them. Fun. Okay, so how did you meet Scoot? Ah, uh, how did I meet Scoot? Uh, it's a funny story. Scoot and I, we've, Scoot is my boyfriend for anyone who doesn't know. Uh, we've been together for close to five years now and we actually met on Instagram. It's pretty much how everybody meets now. He was doing the double tap liking on my photos and I noticed him and I'm like, who is this guy? He's way better looking than I am and way younger. So I'm like, I could never land this guy, but he kept flirting on Instagram and he was the one that pushed it forward. So when he moved to LA, we met and I was a little bit hesitant because I'm like, what am I doing? I, I, I don't want to date somebody younger and as beautiful as him, but right when we met, uh, it was love at first sight. I knew right away. Uh, he's the sweetest person in the world. Aww. Okay, so we incorporated a lot of the viewer questions, but I just wanted to let you know how much love you're getting from the Olaplex family. And a lot of um, we ask me anything questions that we posted was just that they love you and they want to hug you and hug your biceps and maybe <laughs> give you a kiss. That's hilarious. <laughs> well, the good news is, is I am a big hugger. I love hugging. I'm super, super affectionate. I've been that way since I was a little kid. My mom would say that whenever we were on the beach or by the pool or anything, she'd always catch me like hugging someone or hanging on to them. So I'm a big hugger. So if you see me in public, you can come right up to me and give me a hug. Fun. We're going to take you up on that for sure. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for visiting the DPU house. Much love to Olaplex. See you all later.